Hey guys, welcome back. It's your bro with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually uh, use the object fields within your forms for Jira service management. So I'm going to be using uh, this uh, specific object schema where I'm having the um, hardware and within that hardware I have the supported mice. Um, so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to create a custom field actually in here and I'm going to create a custom field and for that custom field I'm going to go for advanced and I'm going to select the assets objects. Alright so I'm going to say computer mouse. I'm gonna click on create. So now it's gonna ask me to which uh, to which screens I want to apply this. So I was thinking. So I have like IT operations. Yeah, I'm gonna go with some of the IT operations. So these are all of the IT operations. So I have like incidents, I have all of these things. So I'm not going to complicate too much. I'm going to add this to all of these screens. And there is like a bunch of them. So I'm going to click on the update. And now I'm going to search here for computer mouse. And as you can see, it is defined as assets objects. Okay. So now I'm going to go for the contexts and within the context themselves, I'm going to change the added assets object field configuration. Now, what actually this does is, first of all, you actually need to select your object schema, which is going to be IT employee assets. Now, then we're going to be using the AQL, which is the assets query language. So most of the time you're going to be using the filter scope in here. So one of the filter scopes that I'm going to be using is I'm going to say object type and within the object type itself, let me just go back in here. Let me go with IT employee assets and let me go with the supported mice, supported mice. There we go. It's there. That's great. So display default object when this field appears in the customer portal. So this is if you actually want for your customers to see this selection right there. Now I'm going to say no. Uh, it's going to ask me to display the search in here. So first of all, I have a lot of things in here. So I can be saying that I'm interested in the manufacturer. So display and search across these attributes in the custom field and also display these attributes in the issue view because in the Jira service management, you know that you have a portal view and you have your Jira issue, which is for your agents. So now since I have this, I'm going to click on save. All right, so the field has been configured successfully. Now, this field needs to be useful to us, so we need to start using it. Okay, in order to start using our field, the um, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to be including it in, in the form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the project settings, I'm going to go for the forms, and within the forms themselves, you're going to see, I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to create a blank form. And within this black blank form, I'm going to say supported 
mouse. And in here, what I want to do right now. So, uh, yeah, uh, the another thing that, yeah. So I'm going to go now. I'm going to click on the add field. When the, within the add field, I'm going to be selecting the asset objects. So I'm going to say mouse models because basically they are the mouse models. And I can say that this response is indeed required. So what I also have in here is to which link this is. So this is going to be tied to our Jira field, which is the computer mouse. All right, so I'm going to say the changes in here. So that's, that's one step. The next step that we are actually having here, we need to include this form within one within our service requests. Okay, so uh, X, for example, request architecture architecture review. I know, I know it's not really suitable, but I just want to show you how this really works. Okay, so now I'm gonna be selecting the form here. So just navigate to the page really quickly uh, why is it not uh, we hate this wait hold on ah there we go much better all right so saying guided charge form and basically that's not the form I'm actually looking for uh, that's strange Let me go to the forms once more support a mouse okay it's here okay I'm gonna add it in here Let's save the changes And that's it so this is for request architecture review okay good so now I'm gonna head to my portal which is here and uh, port architecture review and there we go it's included in here saying mouse models and it's now giving me the mouse models in here that I can definitely choose. Now, if I wanted to use, let's say, more than one models in here, I would have to go back to my uh, configuration for my custom field of computer uh, computer mouses. And when there was that toggle, where it was saying that uh, I can choose multiple op that I can choose actually multiple objects and I would go for that all right so let's just go here let's just type in test and now if you actually go here now it's reading the eloquent eloquent mouse which is uh, and as you can see Computer mouse, eloquent vertical mouse. For the agents, yeah, sure, they can actually check this, and there is, there is this information about the uh, manufacturer. So, as you can see, that is how it actually works in putting your asset object fields to well to be useful. And that is it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See ya. Bye.